In the uh, Canvas starter application, one of the issues that we run into frequently is uh, the different node packages getting out of sync. So the original developer will do an NPM install and it will install certain versions. Um, and then somebody else comes along later and does an NPM install and they get different versions. Now, part of this is due to the fact that we have this, this kind of setup in our package JSON. We say any version of Babel greater than 5.3.1. Um, so we could fix that partially by doing this. However, each of these packages also has dependencies and those dependencies are specified in their package.json. Um, so it's still possible, even when you specify exact versions in your package.json, to get different versions um, when different people do the install. Uh, because like I say, other people could use the greater than in their package.json. So to solve this problem, um, we've installed npm shrink wrap. So you can see that it is part of the one of the dev dependencies. Uh, right here is npm shrink wrap. Uh, it generates this npm shrink wrap.json which has all of the exact versions of everything that live inside of the node modules directory. And this way uh, we get exactly the same versions of all of the libraries that were on the original developer's machine, on the machine of the guy who ran npm shrink wrap. So in the Canvas starter application, I've added just a couple of notes to the readme. Uh, so to install, you'd run npm install, and because shrink wrap is part of that, uh, you should get all of the exact versions now. Uh, at any time, you can verify that the packages are the same, and you can generate a new shrink wrap by running npm shrink wrap. So if I go into my directory here, oops. so I go into the Canvas starter application, um, go into the client directory, run npm shrink wrap. It's going to say, oh, I wrote a new npm shrink wrap.json. But you'll notice that that file hasn't changed because it's it stayed exactly the, the same. I haven't made any updates or anything. Um, now, anybody who else who pulls this down can also run npm install, and we should be done with all of the different version errors. All right, so that's the first part of it. Now the next thing is, is what if I actually want to update my packages? I want to see maybe we have some old stuff or maybe we're running into some bugs and we think, I wonder if a new version of this library would fix it. You can run npm outdated and that will give you a list of any of the packages that are not the very latest version. So if you look here, this says uh, you've got this extend shallow library and the current version that you have is 0.2.0 and the one that you've said that you want is 0.2.0 and the latest version is 1.1.2. And then if you look at Karma, for some reason it, it wants a version newer than what's even available. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, probably because we're using some version directly from GitHub. Uh, Jasmine Core, it looks like we can update. Um, this I did notice that there are some versions, some weird things with some of the versions, like the SAS loader version. It says the current is 1.0.1 .1, and that's what's installed, but here it says the latest is 0.6.0, but that's not right. <laughs> you can actually get a 1.0.1. .1. So sometimes the latest um, column over here gives you some incorrect information. So now if I wanted to update, I can call um, npm update and then pick one of the libraries. So maybe I want to update superagent and that will go out and do the update after which I can, I can run npm shrink wrap again, which will generate a new shrink wrap JSON with my updated changes. So that's kind of how you manage your libraries with npm and npm shrink wrap. Uh, hopefully this will make it simpler for us to manage versions going forward. Um, 
especially given how quickly some of these libraries update. I actually updated Babel yesterday to 5.3.1, and it looks like they're on 5.3.3 now. So they update them rather quickly. Any questions? So it's basically an extra step that Bundler just does automatically with the general file locks. You're, you're exactly <laughs> generating the lock file. Yeah. I really wish this was built into NPM, that it would generate a lock file. Um, and then when you installed either in production or on somebody, you know, somebody oh. new brings up the project, they could just run a install and it would get all the correct versions. But unfortunately, it is not part of NPM. Um, like I so said, we do have it listed in the dev dependencies, but I think that if you really want NPM shrink wrap to work, you would probably have to install it globally. So you'd want to do an npm install shrinkwrap-g to install it globally and then at the moment that you're installing this as a new project it would work. I'm, I kind of think that if you didn't do that and you ran npm install even though npm shrinkwrap is listed as a dependency in package JSON it would be too late. Um, because npm would wouldn't have the changes that npm shrink wrap makes to npm if that makes sense so basically the shorter that is everybody install npm shrink wrap globally um, before you start installing new projects and then you should be good all right uh, that's it for today <laughs>